You cannot and will not come to this city and commit these type of acts and walk away from here and get away with it. Now at 8, the investigation continues tonight as one of San Francisco's most popular tourist destinations is now a crime scene. Two cars speeding down the Embarcadero, the people inside firing shots at one another, sending six people to the hospital, including a 10-year-old child. Thank you for joining us tonight on Crown 4 News at 8. I'm Pam Moore. I'm Ken Wayne. Six people are recovering tonight after that shootout uh, that involved two cars yesterday near Pier 39 in the city. The shooting started on Beach Street, excuse me, continued for almost two miles down the Embarcadero, ending at Howard Street just past the ferry building when one of the vehicles crashed. All of this happening just before 7 o'clock last night. Police say they arrived to find two people had been shot, one of them suffering life threatening injuries. San Francisco Police Chief Bill Scott says a 10 year old girl was injured when she was struck by one of the vehicles, and three others were hurt by shards of glass. Two people were taken to the, into custody from the car that crashed, but police are still searching for the other vehicle, only described as a white sedan. Police say they were able to obtain uh, plenty of security camera video and cell video, but they're also looking for witnesses. One man tells us uh, he and his family were heading to the wharf, Fisherman's Wharf, when they became caught in the crossfire. And Crown Force, Teresa Sasio has that part of our coverage. First thing we actually experienced was... Uh, uh, bullets. You know, we could hear the whiz of bullets and the firing of a gun. Robert Coles is recounting Sunday's tear at Pier 39. He says that he and his family were heading to Fisherman's Wharf for a family's day dinner when, he says, he heard dozens of gunshots. We knew uh, we needed to, to look for cover because then soon after that, we actually heard another ringing out of uh, what sounded like semi-automatic gunfire, maybe five or six rounds. Um, and at that point, it was uh, in finding shelter and finding protection. The family had spent the weekend together visiting Napa and taking a cruise, but now they were running for their lives. Really, you know, we're in the mentality of celebration and gathering together. There are uh, Father's Day and my son's birthday uh, is tomorrow. And so, yeah, it was celebration and, and joy. And within a split second, it turned to fear and concern. And just this complete, uh, you know, totally different flow of emotions. Cole says that his sister, father, and cousin ran into a nearby hotel while he took his wife, daughter, and youngest son to the back of Pier 39. Uh, a church group from Minneapolis. Uh, 18 uh, kids and uh, their lead pastor and a chaperone were there and they were running from the second round of firing that was near Fisherman's Wharf. And um, the panic and fear on those kids, their faces, uh, I knew I just hunkered her down here, we're out of line of sight. He said that he stopped the group from running toward the street in the shooting. Police showed up and escorted the group to safety. He says that his family eventually reunited and adds that they are talking and praying together to deal with the stress of the situation. Adding more needs to take place to deal with the escalation of crime here in the Bay Area. It has to be done for a variety of reasons, but most importantly for the safety of people who are law-abiding citizens who want to simply enjoy this beautiful state and enjoy one another and uh, our obligation, our government has an obligation to protect us. Teresa Estacio, Crown 4 News.